My next guest is back on TV tonight, sharing her life in lockdown, which involves looking after nine children, four ponies, six dogs, 40 cows and a thousand sheep on one of the UK's most remote farms. And Amanda Owen joins me now. Amanda, it's lovely to see you. You are you are superwoman, but how does a girl who was born in the city, you know, a real city girl, end up in this beautiful, beautiful, but very remote place doing such a tough job? Oh, I mean, it's a long story, really, but it was all down to um, the small screen. It was all down to watching old creatures great and small on the television and reading the books. And I fell in love with the idea of... Um, of, of being a shepherd and of course I had to leave Huddersfield behind and head for the hills which I did and on some days when things are going a bit wrong and things are a bit chaotic such as this morning when I'm like battening doors shut and trying to fend off animals and goodness knows what and Chalky who I specifically wanted to look nice for the program appears oh. to have rolled in something oh that's okay that's what they do <laughs> it's fine it's fine. I, lo I mean, I love the, the glimpse of your life, you know, and especially right now, I think so many people, especially living in big cities, just look at your life and think, wow, I want to do that. But it's hard, you know, it's real hard work. You work very, very hard. Absolutely, absolutely. You don't get abs like Madonna from just sitting, polishing the agar. It's about <laughs> tipping, it's about tipping sheep up and shearing. I guess, I guess the thing is with the programme, it isn't airbrushed, it isn't tidied up. You kind of get to see the good, the bad, the ugly, so that you get a realistic rounded pitch. You know, nowadays, so many people have um, people that they put upon a pedestal and supposedly have the perfect life. Well, I can tell you that if you look up towards the ceiling there, there's various, um, there's various odd socks and goodness knows what that hasn't been paired up for ages. There's some felt tip behind me. There's some Lego under the sofa. All I'm bothered about is if the children are happy and the animals are okay, mm. that'll do. I'm no, no domestic goddess. No, so. that, well, I actually think you are. I think you're quite remarkable. I mean, you've got, what, nine children? Yes. And how many children did you have whilst getting to the hospital? But you had, to, you had them in the car, didn't you? Or... Yes, I, I think I've only got there with three. <laughs> so 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 six of six of them have kind of been en route and one actually, my eighth was the perfect, because that was right here. Wow. By the fire. Wow. Which was which was absolutely perfect. But I mean, don't for one minute think it's because I'm some kind of earth mother. It was more out of laziness and the thought of having to get in the car and travel for a couple of hours to the hospital and then turn around and come all the way back again. I thought, oh, Forget that. If I can do it myself, DIY. It's DIY everything now, isn't it? It's DIY hairdos, <laughs> DIY eyebrows, and DIY kids. Is that you now? At nine, are you stopped now? Well, there's no plan. I mean, you must be able to see that. That plans, plans <laughs> just, uh, plans just don't, plans just don't, um, don't even come into it. And I think that's another reason why people like watching the television show because, you know. Life doesn't always go right, does it? No, it and doesn't. For... No, it absolutely <laughs> doesn't. And, and that, that's the thing. I mean, you know what it's like. You've got Hello, such... Hi. Hello, darling. Hello, Hello yes. one. How are you? She was desperate. She wanted to say hello with, with Tony, who has been keeping us all amused. He's the house pony. He's the house... <laughs> so... I want a house pony. Everybody <laughs> should have a house pony, my love. That is the bestest thing. How cute are you? So the pony just has basically the run of the house and can do whatever. Oh, we have, we have such trouble. I mean, I guess during, during lockdown, I mean... <laughs> Um, I'm fortunate because we've got a lot of room so the kids can, can run free. But it would appear that, uh, that you know, um, everything that was supposed to be outside was inside and vice versa. And, you know, it, uh, it, uh, it leads for interesting times. No, it you know, sure does. <laughs> but I think your kids are having an amazing childhood. I mean, you have, you know that you've had a bit of criticism. People say, you know, health and safety, you know, the, these children are mm. riding ponies and bikes and they don't have proper mm -hmm. headgear yeah. or whatever, whatever. But your, your, your kids are just, you know, they are having the best time. I hope so. And don't, don't you think, in this day and age when everyone's itching for a fight, whatever you do, you're going to get criticism. Oh, sure. In sure. fact, you even get criticism if you do nothing. So therefore, you <laughs> might just as well... Get a, get on with it, and I mean, when it comes to bringing up the children, um, keeping them absolutely away and immune from danger, maybe doesn't teach them that much. Maybe they have to learn how to handle danger, how to deal with it, and where the parameters are. So yeah, last night they were swimming in the river. They'll be out on horses. 
you name it. But yeah. they are absolute life lessons. And there's nine of them, and it'll stand them in good stead for whatever they want to do. You know, Raven's um, wanting to go into medicine. Ruben's got himself a job um, uh, working at an agricultural plant machinery garage. They're all very different, and I just hope that whatever the lessons are that they, they get from growing up here, they can, they can apply them to real life and whatever they want to do in the future. Exactly, and they seem completely unfazed by being on TV. I mean, they're, they're not, you know, they're certainly mm. not performers as such. We're no. just seeing, and that, that comes mm. from you, okay. and that's actually what's so refreshing. Well, I hope so, and you see, by the time we get to the um, end of the series, by episode six, we have lockdown, we have no film crew, and Channel 5 um, and, and the film crew um, actually entrusted me with cameras and sound gear. So literally, yeah. it was like, right, can you make your own episode, please? <laughs> so I handed over the, the camera to the children, and when people tune in to see our self-filmed episode, which is a bit like the Blair Witch Project with like wobbly camera <laughs> shots and all the rest of it, it'll be the first time that I get to see what some of the children were up to as well. So. <laughs> Be very oh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's Do you know what? It's been an absolute joy talking to you, Amanda. I, I love it. I love that you've got a house pony. I think um, that is the way forward. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lorraine. It's, it's just... been lovely talking to you as really, well. So really, that, good. You know, thank you. Oh. Uh, that's what it's all about. It's about living life and doing your thing and, you know, keeping a smile on your face. So if it makes people smile, inspires people, then that'll do. Thank you. Betcha. You I can't believe the, the life that you've got. You've got nine kids and you, you look about 12 years old. You look amazing. <laughs> oh, you're saying all the right things. You're saying all the right things. I think actually it's probably because the resolution's quite down on the camera and it's a slow internet <laughs> connection. I've got like that Hollywood kind of sort of smoothed out look. So well, thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Give my love to the family and great to talk to you. Thanks, Lorraine. Our Yorkshire <laughs> farm, it returns tonight, nine o'clock, Channel 5. Unmissable. What a breath of fresh air. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.